I heard a scream that I had never heard in my life before coming out of this little bitty body. Um, it was a scream of sheer pain. There were three, maybe four nurses holding her down and they said, mother, hold her head. And so the person that she saw when she was being inflicted with pain was the person that she trusted. It was hard to sit and watch her have to go through chelation therapy, which was two shots per day um, for a three-day period in some cases. Some cases it was a five-day period. And all I kept saying to myself is that we had to do this because it was going to make her better. That was the first time I found out what lead could do to a child's system. And it hurt even more to find out that lead poisoning was an entirely preventable disease. I don't know how much of that is her and how much of that is lead. I don't think that it's fair for me to have to sit and wonder if she's gonna end up with attention deficit disorder, if she's gonna end up with a learning disability. Good. I would hope that people would consciously be aware of lead-based paint when they walk into a unit and protect themselves and protect our children. There's a child here and this is old paint. The combination of the two, knowledge is power, is a real, real serious save. Because if they just consciously think for one minute before they start, that could make all the difference. If not for the sake of the family that you are in the house doing the work for, for your own.